in this video we will study about the first chapter that is the life process and first part of this chapter is the nutrition means different type of nutrition how the organism obtain their food and how the food uh, helps in maintaining their requirement now first of all we have to study about the definition of the nutrition nutrition is the process process of obtaining obtaining food for meeting for meeting all the requirements the requirements of organism organism this nutrition process is uh, divided into two different parts first nutrition is known as autotrophic nutrition and second type of nutrition is known as heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition this these two types of nutritions classified on the basis of how the organism collect their food themselves now first is the autotrophic nutrition auto means self trophic means to prepare means the type of nutrition in which organism prepare their own food by using raw materials the nutrition in which in which organism prepare organism prepare their own food their own food by using sunlight or you can say by using or by the process of photosynthesis because the photosynthesis process always takes place in the presence of this sunlight so this is the type of nutrition which is known as the autotrophic nutrition now what are the examples of the organism showing the autotrophic nutrition first is all the green plants as well as cyanobacteria as you know about the cyanobacteria we have studied in the previous class cyanobacteria is also known as blue green algae now if we take a certain account of this autotrophic nutrition then further it is classified into two category that is known as photo autotrophic nutrition photo autotrophic nutrition and second one is known as chemo autotrophic nutrition this photo autotrophic nutrition means where specially this photo word is inserted photo means sunlight means the type of nutrition where sunlight is necessary for prepare their own food now again the example of the organism which showing this photoautotrophic nutrition again these are collectively green plants as well as you can say the cyanobacteria means they are using the photosynthetic mechanism to prepare their own food now if we take the definition of the chemo autotrophic nutrition then here the word chemo stands for chemical means when the organism prepare their own food by using different types of chemical reactions so it is known as chemo autotrophic nutrition now here are the examples like sulfur oxidizing bacteria sulfur oxidizing bacteria means these are the organism which can prepare their own food 
by using different chemical reaction. Now this is an account or just the simple definitions or brief account of the autotrophic nutrition. Now let me take about the heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition is the nutrition in which organism depends on depends on both plant and animals plant and animals for obtaining food means when the organism take their food both from the plant as well as from the animal it is known as the heterotrophic nutrition this heterotrophic nutrition further classified into three subtypes what are these th uh, three subtypes out of these first one is known as saprotrophic nutrition this saprotrophic nutrition means when the organism feeds on dead and decaying matter the organism feeds on feeds on dead and decaying matter now what are the examples of this saprotrophic nutrition fungus and bacteria fungus and bacteria these two organism or the group of fungus and bacteria both helps in providing safe environment on the earth then how they provide the safe environment first one they clean earth surface earth surface means when the dead and decomposing a decaying material present on earth all around then they clean the earth surface by decomposing it second one they helps in nutrient cycling nutrient cycling means when the decomposition process going on then the gaseous particles uh, goes into the atmosphere the nutrient part added into the soil so with this mechanism the fertility of the soil become enriches uh, increase the fertility of soil so we can say that both fungus and bacteria play an important role in cleaning of our earth environment now the second part or you can say the second type of the heterotrophic nutrition is known as parasitic mode parasitic nutrition this parasitic nutrition has to different organism both organism both are living means there are two organism and both of them are living organism one living organism is known as parasite and second one that is also the living it is known as the host organism means host on which parasite grow parasite grow means host is the organism on which these parasites grow so we can write the definition the nutrition in which nutrition in which parasite live in or on the body on the body of host organism and always there is the uh, harmful effects seen on on the host organism and next is the parasitic nutrition we are continuing here the parasitic mode of nutrition this parasitic mode of nutrition again is of two type first is known as ectoparasite ectoparasite ecto means outside means the type of a uh, parasite which always lives on the body of organism means 
uh, the parasite lives outside the body of body of host for example we are taking different examples lice takes then leech also leech these all are ectoparasite means they always uh, lives on the body of host in case of lice human is the host in case of leech cattle in case of takes there is the dog which act as the host and they lives on the body of this host as a parasite now the second part of this parasitic mode of nutrition is endoparasite endoparasite means endo means inside means the parasite which lives in the body in the body of host organism body of host organism for example we are taking here different disease causing pathogens you can say like helminths helminths as platyhelminth as well as the nematodes for example the liver fluke that is the fasciola hepatica second one is the ascaris which is commonly known as round worm third one we can say the filarial worm filarial worm these all are the different types of worms which become the endoparasite and generally liver fluke lives in the liver and these two ascaris as well as the filarial worm these two uh, round worms found in small intestine small intestine of human and this filarial worm always live inside the lymph node and these two are belongs to the category of the nematodes now this is the explanation of the parasitic mode of nutrition here third type of the heterotrophic mode of nutrition is holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition means the organism taking solid food taking solid food solid food when we are taking then it undergo different processes or you can say undergo different or there are the five step undergo different or the five steps now first step is ingestion second is the digestion third is absorption fourth is the assimilation assimilation and fifth one is the digestion now take an account or you can say the brief account of them first one is the ingestion ingestion means when we intake our food means the food that is in the solid form when we are taking that food this process is known as ingestion means in taking of solid food solid food now after in taking of solid food we starts chewing it and when we are chewing it then the our saliva as well as different uh, secretions from our gland alimentary can canal gland mix with it and the complex food will break into the simple food now that process is known as the digestion means breakdown of complex food into food into simple food simple food and these these activities are hold by different types of enzymes now 
when the simple food form then this simple food starts absorb now the absorption of digested food digested food and this digested food get mixed with the blood mixed with blood and transported to various parts of our body now assimilation means when the food mixed with the blood and this blood transported to various parts of body and each part getting this digested food here the food get respire or you can say break in the presence of oxygen due to which the energy release and this energy is utilized by our cells in different metabolic processes now assimilation is the utilization of of absorbed food absorbed food and the last step of this holozoic nutrition is egestion egestion means some amount or you can say a few uh, solid particles left as it is that they not undergone the process of digestion we can say due to the lack of enzyme or we can say the hard food is there so the removal means that waste when removed from the body this is known as egestion means removal of undigested food undigested food is known as egestion and overall the holozoic nutrition is shown by the higher organism or you can say amoeba especially in this chapter we will take an account of human as well as both amoeba now in the next video we will study about in detail about the autotrophic mode of nutrition with their uh, photosynthetic mechanism as well as their process